Greetings, Game Changers. This is Classic Games Redefined. My name is Rich. So, the story behind posting this article is I was on Facebook checking out my caters group, and I also happened to be in various retro video game groups. And all of a sudden, I saw this pop up and I began to Google it. This is just one of a number of articles. Go look this up here about Konami filing a trademark. Uh, trademark request for TurboGrafx-16. Apparently, I believe they have the license now to it. You can look into it further. But anyhow, that's some news you can go look up. You really wonder what they might be planning for. This is apparently something floating around the internet. But it begs the question here. On if Konami's doing this, what is the point of it? And the thing you really have to wonder about here, regarding this, and the entire system and all that, is if maybe there is a yet another plug-and-play system in the works. So how many people here, post comments below if you've actually get this far into the video, um, with, if you'd like to see a plug-and-play TurboGrafx-16 system. I'm thinking Konami is going to either license this or something else, get it out there, probably do a bundle of games after what happened with the sheer madness of the uh, NES Classic Mini system. A plug and play system Nintendo did. I just imagine they're going to do it. The Turbo Graphics was relatively big in Japan. Real. Didn't quite make it in North America. Sega beat it, and then Sega got beaten by Nintendo again and just went on. But I think it would be interesting here. Uh, my story with Turbo Graphics was around the household when I grew up. We'd have about every system you could get. It's like some bought an NES, and the other brother in the household, we got, we got a um, Master System. And would use them that way. Then we had the Genesis, and also got, I believe I picked up a TurboGrafx 16, or somebody else did in the household. Uh, we would do different, different things. But anyhow, I'm just thinking it's here that it's possible you would end up seeing a, a plug and play TurboGrafx 16. Uh, I would be interested in seeing one here. Depends on the price. I really wonder how they do the controllers and everything else, uh, and what's going to happen here. And if it's Konami, it just mentions it's going to have a set number. They are licensing out Frogger, so that's another sign you have. Uh, just a standalone Frogger unit on Space Invaders. Now, would that be of interest to you? That's the question here. If you'd be interested in one, feel free to post some comments below. That's why we're doing it. Uh, that's about it. I'm going to check out. I just want to get this article up here. I'll post a link to it. You'll find this elsewhere. You can go look it up and additional information. People are wondering what's happening, whether or not they're going to license Turbo Graphics for pachinko machines or slot machines or whatever that they're doing. But I just I foresee because of what happened to Nintendo. You have one coming. I mean, I would love to see this. So let's get the Odyssey 2 going. Let's get the Atari 8-bit computer going and all this other stuff. And, of course, the Super Nintendo plug-and-play and all that. I personally would love to have a subscription service. Nintendo, are you going to be doing that for the NES um, for retro video games? And have it that way. That might be a good use for the Switch. Anyhow, my thoughts, uh, that's it. Okay, I'm out. Uh, that's it. So I do want to thank you for listening and looking at it here. Go go look up some more. I will post a link to this article in in the comments below, and I'll also post in the description. And that's that's about it for me. So I'm out of here. Okay, I want to check out. So okay, again, I do want to thank you for listening. And uh, may your die always roll five. Remember, don't hate the player, change the game.